Hello friends and welcome! Today we will be unboxing the Caldon Crate and this is actually a first for me. I saw this box through another YouTube channel that I'm following which is Gryffindor Bookworm. If you're watching, hey there girl! <laughs> and when she unboxed this I was like those are such awesome and unique items. I have to have this box for myself. So I ordered it and it's here. It's the Chest of Fire which is based on the Goblet of Fire and I'm assuming it's their fourth box because they're quite quite new and yeah I'm super excited so let's just get started if you like these kind of magical unboxings don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again enough talking let's get unboxing the cauldron crate and as I said it is a bi-monthly chest and other than that there's nothing special about the box besides that it says unbox the magic yes we're gonna do that in a minute uh, they promise you a plus handcrafted goodies and a retail value of over 50 pounds which is quite a lot seeing as I paid 29 pounds for this box uh, that does not include your shipping cost, of course. So I'm really excited to see what they put inside. So let's take a little sneak peek. Oh, and when I ordered this box, they also requested my house color, which is blue. I'm a Ravenclaw. And also my name. So I'm really curious to see what they did with that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited. Here it comes. Okay, you can't really see that much. There is blue tissue paper on top, which is obviously for my house. And there is a letter on top. What is this? Spew? This is the spoiler card, so I'm going to put that aside for a minute. And let's take out the blue tissue paper. I'm not going to look. I'm just going to do a lucky dip. Oh, wow. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, this feels like Christmas. <laughs> so we got two stickers on here and one of them says Ravenclaw Eagles, which is a Quidditch team. And the other is a Hogwarts crest and the different banners of the houses. Okay. Let's see what this is. It is, oh, is this a book sleeve? I think this is a book sleeve. Oh, this is so cool. This is my first book sleeve, you guys. <laughs> and it's from Ravenclaw. Yeah, this looks beautiful. And on the inside, it's blue as well. It feels really soft. And as far as I can tell, this is really good quality. <laughs> Oh wow, I just slapped myself in the face with the book sleeve. I'm happy with this book sleeve. Yeah, it's a really cool item. Okay, on to the next. Next up is something in a little bag. Are these stickers? Yeah, they are. Ah, oh, that is so nice. Let me see. Okay, let me share them with you guys. So first up is a sticker of the different houses. Then we have the Hungarian Horntail, Harry Potter himself, a daily profit sign, Madame Malkings, robes for all occasions in Diagon Alley, the Triwizard Cup, the Dark Mark, the Golden Egg, and of course the Goblet of Fire. These are really awesome stickers. I'm definitely going to use them. Next item. Oh, I feel something heavy okay maybe this is a candle or something yeah this is a candle okay so we have the common room earl gray old books and on the inside it looks like this so we have a beautiful light blue and golden glitters yeah, this smells really nice. It kind of reminds me of of a body cream, like when you when you put it on after a long day at the beach, and then you step out of the shower smelling like the common room. 
I don't know if that's a good explanation. This box is off to a great start. Next thing I'm grabbing is... Okay. Everything is wrapped. That is just so awesome. Here we have a sticker on there. I don't know if you guys can see this, which says unforgivable curses. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's just open it. What do we have? These are pencils. Oh, right. Okay. Okay, this is unique. <laughs> These are pencils and they have unforgivable curses on them. Crucio, Imperial, and of course, the baddest of them all, Avada Kedavra. Let's put the pencils right there. And let's go for the next item. I feel a little a blue bag. Oh, oh, these are earrings. And it says they are Durmstrang earrings. That is such a cool idea. Oh, you guys. These are so cute. And it says they are sterling silver. It's not a gender neutral item, but I love that they put these in this box. Oh, yeah, I have something. Oh, this is something flat. So what could this be? What is this? All oh, right, this is a bookmark. I love these kind of designs because it's magnetic and you can just put them on top of your page. So on the back you have the egg which says CWG and it stands for the Commonwealth Green. So and there we have him, the Commonwealth Green. And if I would be in a Triwizard Tournament, this would be the easiest pick of them all, I guess. So yeah, I'm doing well here. Next up. Ooh, okay. I have something here. Let's unwrap this. Oh, this feels like a pin maybe. Oh yeah, it is. Guys, this is beautiful. So it says the Ireland Champions 1994. So it's the 1994 World Cup pin. Ah, this is so shiny, by the way. <laughs> that is going to go on my Harry Potter pin banner for sure. Next item I can feel in this box. Oh, I can feel something... What is this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it says Mr. and Mrs. Dursley for Privet Drive, a little wing in Surrey. Let's just open this. So it says, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Dursley, we have never been introduced, but I'm sure you've heard a great deal from Harry about my son, Ron. As Harry might have told you, the final of the Quidditch World Cup takes place this Monday night and my husband, Arthur, has just managed to get prime tickets through his connections at the Department of Magical Games and Sports. I do hope you will allow us to take Harry to the match, as this really is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Britain hasn't hosted the Cup for 30 years and tickets are extremely hard to come by. We would, of course, be glad to have Harry stay for the remainder of the summer holidays and to see him safely onto the train back to school. It would be best for Harry to send us your answer as quickly as possible in the normal way because the muggle postman has never delivered to our house and I'm not sure he even knows where it is. Hoping to see Harry soon, yours sincerely, Molly Weasley. P.S. I do hope we've put enough stamps on. <laughs> yeah, I can appreciate this. Okay, there's still something left in this box. And it is this package. Let me see. What do we have? Do we have potions? I mean, could this box get any better? I'm so amazed by all these items. Okay, there is a little paper. Let me just first 
open this up. And it says, Slug and Jiggers Apothecary are two favorite customers. Enclosed is your order of our famous aging potion. It should fool that pesky age line. Please drop by soon. I have a new shipment, which I think you both will find very interesting. Yours, Mr. Jigger. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is so cool. So these are the potions that Fred and George really um, ordered to get through the age line at the Goblet of Fire. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is so freaking cool. This looks so awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm getting way too excited over this box. Such a terrific idea to put something like this in a box. I still have two items and the first is this. So this is the piece of paper from Fleur de la Cour, who was of course also chosen by the Goblet of Fire. And the last thing that we have is this paper envelope, so let's see what is inside. So this is the moment when Harry, Ron and Hermione see the dark mark appear in the sky. It looks beautiful. Guys, I thought I've gotten all the items out of the box, but there is one thing left in there and i think this is the personalized item because it is my name on a goblet of fire paper that is so cool so it says leander brooks which is me and i'm chosen let's take a look at the spoiler sheet because we have gotten a lot of items in this box thank you for becoming a member of spew and joining the fight against the inhumane treatment of our fellow magical creatures here are your joining bonuses that is a cute touch we have gotten the ireland champion pin the house common room candle the agent potion replica sterling silver bulgarian ship earrings french magic school fire note replica my personalized fire notes the dragon bookmark dark mark art Unforgivable Pencils, World Cup Invitation Replica, Book 4 Sticker Set, and the House Book Sleeves. Which means we have gotten a total of 12 items in this box. I'm impressed, honestly. I think this was such a strong box. And I love the fact that these are all handcrafted goodies. Their products are vegan and cruelty-free. And I also noticed that the packaging it's almost all paper so that's a really good thing yeah i really love this box i'm pretty sure i'm gonna buy the next one which is the chest of the phoenix and is based on the fifth book because this was such a strong box i am going for my least favorite item because that is going to be an easier choice than my favorite item uh, but please let me know if you guys have a favorite item in the comments down below. So my least favorite item is gonna be the Unforgivable Pencils, I guess. And not because I didn't like them, because I think it is such a cool idea to put Unforgivable Curses on a pencil. But it's just that I'm probably not gonna use them. I don't use pencils that much. I use pens. And it's not something that you can give to somebody because it says things like Crucio and Avada Kedavra so it's not like here have a pencil if you like this unboxing please give it a thumbs up and all that's left for me to say is have a magical day and let's stay in touch